We are live inside Mid South Coliseum. There's no yeah. electricity. There's CJ, my man. Okay, so I am going to be standing ringside, Kevin. I know you guys can't see Kevin, but we are right in the middle. Man, I wish I had a flashlight or something. Let's see, the flashlight won't work. Won't Got that work little flashlight. Video. It won't work with the video, but this is right in the inside of Mid-South Coliseum in the middle. I'm not sure what all the stuff is, but man, there's stuff everywhere. Seats are still intact up there. I know last time we saw some rides from Liberty Land and things like that that were right here on the, the center. I don't know if you could see up there at all, but... I watched a lot of wrestling in this building, guys. Man, I saw Lawler Dundee so many times in this building. Look at the back of the chair. Very cool. Back of every 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 chair that's on the floor. This is Mid-South Coliseum. Pretty awesome. Man, I'd like to just take one of those as a suitie. <laughs> Very cool. There's a light on over here. Maybe we should walk over there. I don't know if you guys can see the scoreboard up there. The scoreboard is still oh, up nice. there. Still some tiles missing, obviously. This is an absolute thrill just to be in here, you know? Yeah, Liberty Bowl Stadium seating. Hey, so this could be used on Ambrose's Asylum, right? <laughs> what? We're going where they change? Lawler, Elvis, the Beatles, all of them, right? They all change right in this room. Dressing room. This way. Very cool. I make some electricity back. I dressed in here too, guys, just because it wasn't a sold out Coliseum. <laughs> so, Jackie Farr, I hope you're all up. Justin Bob's Right. <laughs> Somehow, not sure you're quite on the Mount Rushmore people. We found Mark James. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, look, some of the boys left their uh, stuff from their, their bags in here. Looks so good. These look like uh, FedEx Forum TVs a couple years ago. So here's where Lawler and Gilbert and everybody cut their promos afterwards. You know, they just get up against one of these tile walls. And remember those promos? Very cool. So I told someone about going backstage at the Coliseum that time. Yeah, there's a question. Does it smell in here, guys? I don't think it smells in here. Y'all got a TV. Yeah. I don't know that it smells in here. It just. Oh, Lord. In the old Mid South Coliseum, I'd be up against the, the tile here, cutting a promo. Lawler, look what you did to my eye, Lawler. <laughs> No, this place is definitely not falling down. Okay, so that's a good point. All right, so the place is not falling apart. It's not falling down. Yeah, but you do have to go through the mold. You have to fix the pipes, fix the electrical. Yeah. So the structure. But the structure is great. I'm no expert. Hey, I've seen this part of the movie. The black guy died first. Okay, well, let me go first. Go ahead, CJ. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm not going first. Remember the mattress was the last time it's still here. So somebody's sleeping on this mattress here. Nice. This is another dressing room. So you definitely need a clean up crew. We got light on in the bathroom so check out the backstage bathrooms. It's very dim, but let me check my hair out real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Hey, are you live? We are Facebook Live, CJ. Oh, nice. Dustin is live on Facebook. We're live on Facebook. I want as many people as humanly possible to see, this, to see this building is not falling down. It's just messy. Right. And moldy. Yep. Needs some new seats. Cleaning by mom. Got a fire extinguisher. Oh, we can still use that, right? Yeah, we can. There's plenty of nacho cheese. Here. Tons of nacho cheese. <laughs> like more than FedEx form. Then goes under porch. What about barbecue nachos? I hope not. Any nachos, but let's go look for some. <laughs> 
Oh man, I wonder how much this has changed over the years. You know, the board that has uh, minimum wage and safety, all that stuff. Plants? They still even get like good for plants over here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Crown Royal bag. Oh my gosh, this brings back so many memories. Like I was here every single Monday. Every single Monday I saw I was here. I was here on May 9th, 1988, where Jerry Lawler won the World Heavyweight title from Kurt Hennig with Jackie Fargo as special ref. All right, here's your concession menu of what, what you could get. All right, what would we do? Oh my gosh, look at that, hot dogs for 275. Nachos for three bucks. What about beer? Oh, beer five bucks, okay, and a can. Beer prices have kind of stayed the same. That's pretty good, and that's, that was not crap. about eight or nine either. bucks now. That was not crap here. You're sure, that's true. They're about eight bucks, but you get two of them and you get a craft one. Yeah. Hey, you might need some coffee. Is there any money left over? No, you need some tickets because of my upcoming events. You see something over here, Uh, just the most commented thing ever inside the Coliseum. We got a so comment here. Uh, an auto loan band. Just like rodeos, concert, tickets. wrestling. Yeah, it's just like more of the storage stuff in here. Yeah, like banners. Liberty, There's no Liberty telling Ball. what these old banners are. Look, a big FedEx. A FedEx banner inside the Minnesota Coliseum. Very interesting. You're all right. AutoZone is on me. I don't know how Memphis on it. Look, there's a bunch of banners over there, too. There's no telling what that is. I'm going to go here. This is where I would come in, I believe. When I um, would come to the Coliseum, I remember coming down these stairs. And I'd come into the arena. And I would walk, I would walk this way. I remember it like it was just yesterday, man. And I'd run into Bill Dundee as I was getting autographs and I'd have a Jerry Lawler shirt on. So I was real, real young and I would have a Jerry Lawler shirt on where he was wrestling Bill Dundee. And uh, man, I was just a kid. I was probably five years old. And Bill Dundee said, boy, where the hell did you get that shirt from? I thought, oh no, Bill knows I'm cheering for Jerry. Making you feel at home. Look at this, like I just, look at this office building right here. It is just destroyed. The Walking Dead virus hit and the zombies came through and people just like ran out immediately. It's kind of wonderful. I think that Coca-Cola slept. Walk, walking Dead. Jeez, look at that. There's still Coke in there. But there's, And a walkie talkie. Man, just, yeah, it is. just it's stuff cool. everywhere. But this is no reason to tear down the building. You do not tear down the building because it's you know messy and needs to be. It just looks like there was a zombie attack. Yeah. Look, yeah, Wizard of Oz on the board. Oh, really? Wizard of Oz, the rodeo. We just had some stuff about rodeo here on Facebook. Monster trucks. Look at all this. Yeah, yeah. Widespread yeah. panic. Dustin get, by, Dustin, get behind the uh, ticket booth. See what the view was like. The ticket window. The pay window? Is this the pay window, yeah. if you will? <laughs> Look at this. I bet you Dusty Rhodes wrestled in here. But just people just pour it in to go to the shows. Right here. This is it. Look at the tickets. What are these tickets from? I don't know. I'm trying to see. I don't know. Steve Miller. Last Look at time that. I was here, I found a nitro ticket. Steve Miller band. Whitfield Gale. <laughs> Mampley Diane. Keith Burks. Yeah, a lot of parking vouchers. Did Lots of parking vouchers. Lots of stuff, man. What is this calendar? This calendar is from 2006. Making it rain, CJ? Making it rain, oh. A phone book, there. I haven't seen one of those in years. We saw a phone over there. I'm just kidding, I've seen one, but I haven't used one. Mm -hmm. Rock 103. Yeah, this is great. I found the safe. 
Did you? Can you crack the code? It's open. That's why all this stuff is smashed everywhere, is they were just trying to get in the safe. Oh, the holiday jam. Mint Salad Coliseum safe. <laughs> Somebody left their jacket. Yeah, they're not going to make more parking for the Liberty Bowl with, with this. They had the concession stand brawl, Eddie. The concession stand brawl was in Tupelo, Mississippi. And then they had a concession stand battle royal, which meant bring whatever weapons you want. And that's the uh, match where Moondog had passed away. Wait, I, I would come in here, Kevin. I'd walk through there, come down here and get my autographs. Met handsome Jimmy Valiant. Phil Dundee. The King. So we're on the lower concourse. Part of this area that we think could be transferred into the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, right? Converted into it. You have all of these side rooms. Yeah, like you have side space that you would not necessarily need. Yeah, Concours is definitely a great spot no matter what this building turns into. I mean, it could be a Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame section anywhere. Just can't really see anything in there. Troy Long Jr. If you guys have any questions, man, shoot those questions over. I'm trying to keep up with that too. We are inside Mid South Coliseum. We are taking the tour. And structurally, I mean, I'm not an expert in it, but you can see as well as I do, the place is still together, just very, very messy. I mean, I'm not saying there's not a lot of work. Yeah, it's actually a thrill to be in here, just seeing all the memories uh, come back from the Coliseum. I was here every single Monday night with my family. I mean, that was just what we did. I remember when the snowman and Jerry Lawler uh, squared off, and man, there was all kinds of craziness going on in the parking lot because of the race issue back then. You could see here, this is the West Lobby, everything is boarded up in the front here. You've got some windows that are smashed out. We didn't break in, Jason. We were invited in to take a tour. Very cool. I'd hate to go to jail breaking in here. Hey, look, there's the bat phone. You guys need to make a call? You need to call your mama? Oh, we saw that. Yeah, there's a phone. Look at all this broken glass. Yeah. You trying to go behind the bleachers? Hey, we can go behind the bleachers if you want. We know where to get. Hey. Yeah, this is uh, this is this a little rough. But look at the but look at the show on the paint. Like it looks like they painted it right before they closed. Too. Yeah, I know. I mean the paint looks like, good. I mean they'd have to repaint it. It looks like uh, it looks like they were somewhat set up for handicap accessibility. You can see here on the side, but yeah, they definitely have to put a lot of a lot into making it handicap accessible nowadays. That's the inside of the arena there from the floor. All right, so what do you think, Kevin? We've been in here about 14 minutes. What do you think? It would definitely be a shame to tear it down. It could be something that could be something cool with this pro wrestling hall of fame. You know, and also another thing that they could do, um, if they're going to just turn this into a pavilion or some sort of smaller coliseum, is all the stuff that we've mentioned, the Beatles, Elvis, wrestling, all that stuff. You have plenty of space on these concours to do whatever you want. And to put those things on display, you know, that memorabilia, those memories... That way, the people that weren't, you know, around back then, they'll see how important the building was to our city here. If you guys have questions, shoot them in here. Man, I wish you could see up there, but I don't. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't see up there. There's a scoreboard. All sorts of ceiling tiles are missing up there, but I mean. 
That was that was from the photos last year we you know, saw. I'm strolling the upper concourse real quick for one. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean it's it's obvious that somebody at some point broke in here trying to find something, and all they found was old ticket stubs. Yeah. And Concerts they couldn't they go to. Glass. Here's but, glass yeah, over floors. Justin, you're breaking a rule, right? I'm breaking a rule? Oh, no and audio or video. Rules. Leave it to you, Serena. I gotta get away from you. Justin's going to jail. <laughs> no weapons allowed either, guys. We've got some flashlights, but man, it's so dark. Oh, there you go. So you can see that on the inside. Can, can you see that picture? Yeah, I can. You got it? Really cool. Yeah, yeah thanks. Cool, cool. Most of my so you are an upper concourse guy. I was at ringside a lot, man. My family, we got poor reception now. Poor reception, so if I lose you. Bad Wi-Fi. Bad Wi-Fi. Bad, bad Wi-Fi. Wi <laughs> CJ actually asked, is it a safe to assume there's no Wi-Fi here? <laughs> Gotta ask, man. Otherwise, you don't know. Yeah, Caitlin, we'd hate to see it go down, too. We're sweating bullets in here. Man, I'm going to come out this shirt. I know, man. That's why I got a. I mean, I got my Coliseum shirt on underneath it. Oh, my pro wrestling you shirt. Superman. <laughs> it's really dark in here, but uh, it is dark. much cleaner concourse though. Yeah, up here is not bad at all from a debris standpoint. No, not not at all. Yeah, another open confession stand. I love these confession stands. We got popcorn. This window is closed, by the way, folks. Window's yeah. closed. Window's Sorry. closed. The door is open up. Two dollar hot dogs, man, that'd be good. It, it kinda still smells like popcorn candy. Really? <laughs> it, it does. does. That's not like a concession stand. I wish Facebook People Live. On the smell. next on the next update of Facebook Live, we're gonna have yeah, smells so included. These jalapenos Holy whoever moly. whoever decides to move in, it will come with that. Whatever. Hey, we should get some happens. popcorn buckets. Complimentary popcorn buckets. <laughs> Oh look, it's hot, so we can turn on the air, guys. There's a fan. Are there any quesaritos in there? <laughs> no, but hopefully the taco. We're hopefully we'll see the Taco Bell if it's still in here. So there's uh, a view of the of Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Yeah, Liberty Bowl across the street. Yeah, let's see if uh, we could see the arena from the top here. See anything good? Oh yeah. <laughs> opportunity. Opportunity. That's what we'd like to hear right there. So is it better than you thought or as bad as you thought? It's I've a, seen it's it. It's about what I thought. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, about what I thought. Yeah. Marcus Hunter. What's up, Mr. Sweet Tea? Marcus Hunter's on here. What up, Hunter boy? Or experts. Going all the way upstairs, guys. We're still still here. Um, those were some of the experts touring the uh, building. Go up there, Kevin. Yep. Bailey, me too, man. Cerrito is sporting the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame shirt. He did that on purpose. It's called branding, James. <laughs> I am at the very top row of Mid-South Coliseum right now. Is there a light? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a spotlight. Very cool. Get a better view of the actual. Uh, Marcus said it's okay to wear shoes, Kevin. I got shoes on. What are you talking about? I got tennis shoes on. I ain't crazy. I know. <laughs> I could be walking around with all this broken glasses. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oh, here we go, the control room. Wow, look at all the plug-ins. 
enjoy lunch, dinner, or peanuts at the Circus Circus Casino. Wow. That's a good Look at coupon. Those that you want to take those? Open, I'm going to use that. Take those uh, for Cerrito Live. Oh, wow, those are some fancy little headphones. We're not allowed to take stuff. Yeah. I was just kidding. <laughs> but we got a turntable and everything. It looks cool. Two turntables and a microphone. I don't know what I'm stepping on. We wanted a to be press box. Mm -hmm. Turntable. He's gonna spin it. It is hot in here. So we are not the only ones touring the Mid South Coliseum today. There are some other experts that are taking a look at the building for re repurposing ideas. If it can be, will it be? Uh, just a few moments ago, I asked one of the guys what they thought and what they saw. He said he saw opportunity. And I see opportunity as well. Literally can't see anything. Uh. Are you going down? Yeah, I'm going down. So there's a, looks like there's something here for everybody just talking about the handicap accessibility. Obviously that would have to be upgraded, that information. That, um, more of the concourse. Whew. All right guys, well I hope everybody enjoyed the tour. As you can see, I am sweating bullets. It's really hot in here. Um, we're on Facebook Live. How do you get to the press box? What's the go up here and then you just have to go all the way up the stairs. Yeah, guys, uh, be sure to share this video so we can um, let everybody see. The, the building is still intact. It looks very good. They said they see a lot of opportunity in the building as well. Of course, we want to save it, but it also has to make sense. And I think it does make sense. I mean, you've got some broken windows and missing tiles and... There definitely needs to be some updating, but that's only because the building has been closed since 2006. Uh, we toured today. Like I say, share this video, let everybody know. And also, I know News Channel 3 was here and they spoke to a lot of us about the building. So be sure to check that out on the news today or tonight. And uh, if anything else happens in here, I'll go back live on Facebook. Uh, hope to see all the wrestling fans out at Memphis Rec Room tonight at 8 o'clock for King of the Ring Wrestling Trivia. That doesn't mean it's all King of the Ring questions, but it's wrestling trivia. Me and my five-star squad, big shout-out. We're coming for our fourth championship tonight, and we'll see you there. Memphis Rec Room Wrestling Trivia. Dustin Starr signing off from Mid-South Coliseum. How cool does that sound?